lecture we're going to learn about HTML images and remember we are at part 11 of this course so let's get started HTML image syntax so this is how we include images in our HTML code we write the, the, the tag of image and this tag of IMG is the one that will help us to include an image in our website or in our web page the AMG tag is empty tag. Remember, we don't need to close this tag. It is just an empty tag. It contains attributes only and does not have a closing tag. SRC attribute specify the URL where the web address of an email is, I mean of an image is. This SRC attribute of this tag is where we shall put the URL or the the, the the location where this the image is included and this is the syntax right img then src and we put the value as the image where it is located the alt attribute the alt attribute provides an alternate text for an image if the user for some reason cannot view the cannot view it the value of alt attribute should shall describe the image. This alt attribute we add it also in the image tag. Then we explain what the image is or what is in inside the what is in the image using this alt alt attribute. So in case the user fails to load the image, this attribute shall be displayed. It will be just text. And that's the syntax. You write here the IMG tag, then include the image uh, address and the alt as the description of the what is in the image. In case the connection of the user is too bad, he cannot load image, then this word will appear to describe what was in the image. The alt attribute is required. A web page will not be validated or will not be valid in case the alt attribute is missing so this attribute is necessary but still the, case the, the, the page you run it will display but if you don't put the alt attribute we shall i mean the, the browser consider that your html is broken and it's not complete image size we use width and height to specify the image size then and this is how we include the width and height for example, you can put here the Im image, the source, the description of image, then you put its height and it puts its width. That's how we do it. Then width and height, of course, it describes the height and width and width of a certain image. You should always remember this, that spec we should specify the width and the height of an image. In case Hey, I mean, otherwise, if you don't specify the height and image, the page may flicker, and while lo while it loads, may destroy. It may disorganize the structure of your content in that image. So it is better to always specify the width and the height of the image. Otherwise, images can disappoint you. So this is how we include image in a different folder. Previously, we're just putting image in one folder, but here. If the image, may, for example, HTML5, GIF is inside the images folder, we this is how we include it. Put the folder, the backslash in the folder, then the image where it is located. Don't worry, we are going to explain all this and practice all that they mean, what do they mean. But I, ho I hope you're getting the concept. And uh, images on a different server, we must specify where the image is located for example we put HTTPS in the image where it is located otherwise if you don't specify where the image is located by putting HTTPS www and the name where the image is located then your the image will not appear we shall see that by also practicing it so also HTML uses animated images 
to use an animated I mean an image as an uh, as a link put the IMG then the tag of the image then image as a link this is how it works we just put the image and put the anchor tag outside this image then the image will work as what as a link and we can still use images as backgrounds to add an image as a background then it shall need a CSS, a CSS to add a background image on HTML element we use CSS property of background image otherwise image HTML alone cannot work without the CSS as a background image and this is how we make it we create a body element and put the style attribute and put the image URL so as you can see I have switched to our text editor which is sublime text that we are using in this course I'll begin by saving click and then click on control S then I'll save this as I'll save this as okay this way we are saving our files I'll save uh, this as Trello underscore images because this is the topic for images don't, don't forget to put html dot html as an extension okay so that is our file that we're going to practice in from these images so i'll begin by creating uh, writing the html structures so i'll just write that html press the tab key and the whole structure write it so i believe everyone can do this at this point so i'll type the word images as our title then let's begin using writing the code related to html images we shall begin by practicing img tag you just type img and press the tab key then it will bring you the structure of image as you can see this img does not need for you to close it in other words if you close it you just close the body this img is an open tag just like what we discussed so it is having src which is the source and it is having the alt which is the alternative text in case we don't ha put anything in the oh the in case the image fails to load so the source io src we shall put there what an image a link where we need to collect the image from so i come to the folder that i'm working in uh let me open the folder where i'm working in it is here on desktop web html okay this is the folder so I'm having some images, for example, this is girl1. I have an image of girl1, an image of boy1. So for example, I can copy this word, girl1. Remember, it is in the same folder with this code that you're practicing on. So I'll just come and paste here the name. Then I click and say open the browser. As you can see, to load and to bring for us, to bring for us, it is still loading image of a girl so uh, that's it you can see the image of a girl is too huge and it has paint even bigger than the space of the web browser so we, we can put alt alt in case this page I mean um, in case this image fails to go I mean fails to load why should explain this image in case someone fails to load the image we should get a test the text so that text is the one that we put here. I'll put here maybe this. Okay, I'll just put image of a happy girl. Happy girl. So in case this image fails to load, it will bring that word image of a happy girl. So another attribute that we said we have to put width and height that we need to specify. So you can see this image is too huge to the extent that it couldn't fit even in our browser. So to specify the attribute, I mean the width and the height, we can we just put here width and put the number of pixels that we want this image to have. For example, you can put uh, 500 pixels. Okay, just put 500. Then and height we put height. Okay, even if you specify width, it is enough only to maintain the ratio. So you can see. The way it is 500 pixels and it, it has been able to fit now on our page. That's why I say that you should always specify the way it that you need in, your, in, in the image to take in, in your page. Otherwise, the image may disorganize all your things.
things that you have in a page. So that's it. Now let us do one experiment. We come to this folder and delete this girl. I've deleted the girl, okay? So the girl is not existing in the fold in the source. I come and refresh the page again. Refresh. So can you see? An image is not there. But what has happened is that they have put an image of a girl and an icon of an image that shows that it is broken. So that is the meaning of this alt. In case if you don't have alt, the user who is using our web page couldn't have an idea of what image is in the page. So we should always put this alt to explain what is the image in case it fails, in case the image fails to load due to some reasons. Maybe the image has been deleted or the network is too bad. Then this word will load to explain what has been the image. So we've covered the width, the alt, the height, and the, so the SRC attributes of an image. So another thing that we're going to do today is we're going to try to load an image from a different server. For example, we need to get an image from Wikipedia and include it in our website or web page. What you do is just write the normal IMG tag. Let me break here. Okay, maybe and I should make this one maybe width of 300. Okay. Then you put the width that you want. We need all our image to maintain the same width. Then maybe I can put here also 300. You can as well use percentages. We shall come to that. Don't worry. Then we have to specify what is in the image. For example, we can come and get an image from Wikipedia here. It is an image of Dubai City. Let me try to connect to internet so that we can see things are which is not our on our server so to connect to internet we bring the it is loading now it's going to bring for us an image that we need this is https simple wikipedia.org stroke wiki stroke dubai so this is some information about dubai I'll click on this image of Dubai and it will come like this. So this is the Dubai image and this is the address of this image. It is on a different server. I'll just come and copy this, okay? Then I'll come back to our code and put this image here, okay? I paste this one in SRC, sorry, here, okay? Then I'll put here Dubai City maybe. Dubai City. In case the image does not load, then it will display Dubai City. Let me put here maybe 600, okay? Then I come here and refresh, it will load Dubai City, you can see. But it has failed to load. It is still loading, maybe. I don't know if I'm connected to internet. So in case the image fails to load, it will put Dubai City. Let us see if the image can load in a free space. Yes. I'll just click here and say copy image address yes and command put that image address here I just come and put this image address here I think that's what it is failing to load okay yeah I just right click on the image and say copy image address then I come and put the image address in the SRC then I'll come back to the website and try to refresh you can see the image has loaded so that's how we include external image from another server in other words you must specify HTTPS or HTTP to show that this image comes from an external server so if you disconnect to internet maybe if your internet is bad then this image will not load so let me try to disconnect to internet and see what I mean okay so load, and load again. In case of displaying the image, it's going to show for us, it's going to show us Dubai City. Why we are not connected to the internet? So it is still trying. We shall see later. So that's how we include external image in our website. So we say that also an image can be used as a link. 
we can use an image when someone clicks on an image it should be taken to somewhere for example let us create here another image called a boy uh, I'll create here another image of a boy and put here some BR ok and here some BR then in our folder I uh, will have an image called boy1 so I'll come and type here boy1 boy1 ok then this is a happy boy a happy boy in case it fails to load it will present for us this word happy boy I'll come and refresh you can see here we're having a happy boy and a happy girl here so that's how images work then you see that this image still can be a what? a link for example we are going to make this image to be a link to its full image to do that we just write an a tag okay then I'm going to put here this happy boy image address I'll put it here at the address of the link then this title maybe will be the I mean view full image so when the user click on this image he will see the full image of happy boy opening so I'll come and remove this tag closing tag and put it at the end of this image so this image is going to be as a link when someone clicks on it this address of href will open which is the address of a, a complete image of a boy so I'll come refresh it has refreshed then if uh, you hover over if you move your mouse on top of this boy you see on the girl there's no title but on top of the boy they'll tell you to view full image of this boy in other words if you click on it it will bring for you the full image of this boy what makes that possible is the a tag this a tag which is the link so this link can be to anything else so I'll click on it you see it will view the whole image of the boy in other words we just go and open this address of a boy and that's make that possible is this a tag so if I go back I'll see if I move over this will turn to a point and if I click on it I'll view the full image of a boy so I hope you can do that by yourself at this moment we proceed we say that still we can make an image as our background as the background but to make an image uh, the background of our HTML element we shall need the CSS attribute so maybe we want this whole page to be having some background of a certain image to do that we come to the body remember body is the one that covers the whole page I'll put style I'll put background background image background image this is the attribute okay background image then to put this background image we have to specify the URL URL and put a bracket so inside this is where we shall put the location of an image that we want to work as a background so I'll come again to my folder and try to look for an image which can work as a background like I can see a London city I'll copy the name of the whole image then I'll come and paste it here in this in this row in this bracket but you can see this is an attribute of what of a CSS so it means that so it means that bootstrap does not have ability I mean sorry it means HTML does not have ability to make background but it will need some CSS to make some background so I'll come and refresh you can see our page is having now background of a city still now you can write in this page now if you write anything on this page it will be on the top of the image let us make some paragraph and put some lorem there okay some random text lorem if some i know you can know how to do that at this point so you can see these things are on top of the london city and you cannot select this london city in fact it is just a background of a web of this web page so I hope now you understand how we make backgrounds of images then lastly I think that's it 
what else have we not discussed okay if we miss anything that we did not discuss please put in the comment section then in the next video we shall include it as well you can also search more information from other websites and learn more about image but this is the necessary information that you would like to know about image so let us go back to our slides and make the, si the summary of our today's lecture here is a summary of what we learned today we use HTML tag of IMG element to define an image we now know that if you are following me then we use SRC attribute to define the URL or the location of an image we now understand that we use the alt attribute to define an alternate text for an image if it cannot be displayed you now understand that at this point then we use CSS width and height property to define the size of image and you understand that and this is an, al an alternative way but HTML also has the ability of width attribute and height attribute then you should know that loading image takes time so this is a note always remember this when you're making your own website loading image takes time and large images can slow down your page use image carefully otherwise it will disgust your users so don't miss in the next lecture where we're going to continue with html tables it's going to be interesting i hope you'll not miss html tables how you make tables and how you manipulate tables of html so let us miss next in the next video and uh, don't please don't please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video if it was helpful to you see you in the next lecture where we'll look at HTML.